Hello, and welcome back to all Please Through the Vexile, the Escape from the Pit. So last time when we left off, we pretty much went back to the castle, told King Micah about um, Satis, and then he gave us the quest to go to Fort Emote and investigate uh, what happened regarding the attack. We did that, and we were greeted by uh, not Grahoth himself, it, it was like a kind, well, it, it kind of, it was like a message... Like he, he wasn't physically there, but we could still see him. I don't really know what you call that. Uh, he was not too uh, too pleased with us. And he sent some demons to kill us. Uh, obviously that uh, was not successful. And we are very grateful for, for that because we get to continue playing the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway. Kind of to take an awkward break from that main quest line, we are now going to explore uh, basically northwest of Fort Immort. And the plan is to uh, hopefully in the next few episodes completely explore and uh, do every dungeon that's in this middle column of the map. Uh, so we're definitely over halfway uh, through with the map, uh, for sure, I would say. And getting this column done would really uh, help us get to uh, uh, near the end, you might say. Because really, it's, it's kind of just this middle section and then like the top left. And that's pretty much it, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue exploring. And there is a sign. We probably read this at some point, but it's been so long. Uh, Cave of Spirits West. That sounds sounds like a, a, an attraction you, you, you would see when you're, like, you're driving down the interstate. It would be like, you know, exit like 65, Cave of Spirits. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and Sliths East. Be careful. Okay, well, we dealt with the Sliths, so we don't really need to be afraid of that. Um, but Cave of Spirits doesn't necessarily sound like it's um, a dungeon. Like, it could be a settlement of spirits, perhaps. And thankfully, the, the monsters around this area uh, flee from us, which is really nice. I'm getting flashbacks from back when we would be like trying to do exploration and we would get stopped uh, fighting Nephew and like Sliths every like five moves. It was uh, not great. And we can only assume that this is the the, uh, the Cave of Spirits. Okay. Save the game and let's see what's here. Gremlin Cave. Okay, that's not exactly a cave of spirits. Um, we have some experience with gremlins. Uh, we did the Gr gremlins gold dungeon, which was kind of confusing, but we actually got done with it in a fairly reasonable amount of time. So overall, a positive experience. I thought it was kind of a cool dun dungeon. It's sort sort certainly uh, d different. And unfortunately for us, these gremlins are not very friendly, so we will have to fight them. Um, but it shouldn't be an issue, because I don't remember exactly what gremlins do. I know they can... <coughs> excuse me. They can, like, steal your gold. Uh, or or maybe, maybe it's your food. I can't quite remember. But they can do, do, do stuff. Um, and we probably don't need to get ludicrous with the, uh, the spells. I, I think coursing it and slowing them would probably be sufficient. Uh, major blessing seems like a bit much, although haste is pretty amazing, so we might have done that. Although we're literally one-shotting them for the most part. Okay, nope. Okay, yeah, not much of an issue. Um, I wonder if the Cave of Spirits is still a uh, location, and, and this is just kind of here. Uh, unless the Gremlins purposely 
uh, make this place seem like it keeps spirits, like they're trying to keep their presence a secret. That's probably reading too far into to, to it, but um, who, who knows? Uh, let's try to fight them without casting spells, and let's see if it is, uh, decent. Okay, yeah, we don't even really need to cast, uh, magic. Unless it's, like, a really big group, then it probably would be worth it. I feel like this is maybe a low-level dungeon that we should have done 20 episodes ago. Uh, and now that we're doing it, we're kind of uh, overleveled. I mean, I feel like we've taken the game kind of slow. Like, I'm not going to deny that. But on the flip side, I feel like we, we've, we've also just done most things in a pretty uh, logical progression. Like, I don't feel like we've, uh, we've necessarily formed. You know, we've just sort of taken... The game kind of slow slowly, so this is just kind of the way that it that, that it worked out. And I'm sure the later games like Exile Two and Three will probably be more difficult, uh, which I've never actually played those. I, you know, I played the remake of the remake of this game as I've said before. And this is a pretty unique uh, design for a dungeon. I kind of like it. Uh, but I never played uh, through Exile 2. I started like a few hours of it, but I just never, never finished it. And I wish that I... Uh, well, not that I wish, because now I get to play through it for the first time. You know, playing through the original remake uh, eventually. Um... But the story seems really interesting uh, in, in, in that game, so I'm kind of surprised that I just never really uh, got into it like I did the first game, because the story seems uh, more interesting, for sure. Uh, but, you know, I'll probably try to do playthroughs of those games as well. I don't know when, though, because, you know, these things take time. Um, oh, there's quite a few of them, actually. We're going to have some fun and see if we can get, get, get them all with a fireball. Yeah, two out of, uh, four out of six is pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Uh, let's go this way. And, I, I mean, these playthroughs would, like, I mean, it, it, it would go faster if I could, um, you know, record on a more regular basis. Um, it, it's just kind of hard to do during the semester. So I kind of try to record during the breaks. Uh, which slows it down significantly. Okay, so there wasn't really anything there, which is kind of surprising. Although really we should double check that, because why would you put something here if there's nothing here? Seems kind of suspicious. Oh, there's a lot of them, okay. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, they stole food. Okay, that's not good.
Yeah, let's just do another firewall. Yeah, not a very hard dungeon so far. Uh, there's a lot of grim, grim, gremlins, but they're not too uh, difficult to deal with. I mean, really, fighting enemies that just don't cast magic just is like... It's so much easier, like... Not having to deal with, like, poison and just getting slowed and cursed. It really makes a huge difference. Okay, there has to be something that I'm missing. Uh, there's no way this is it. Okay, here, yep. It, it would not be a, a dungeon filled with gremlins if you did not have teleportals, so... Here we go. This could be interesting. Okay. There is a design on the wall here. The royal seal of your former home on the surface wall. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, let's check for secrets. The door in front of you has the hated symbol of the Empire military on it. Strange, very strange. Suddenly an, an alarm sounds. Is this like a secret empire base in exile? That's what I'm thinking because we're still in exile, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Petra is almost dead. Uh, let's go into combat. And this does appear to actually be an Empire base inside of Exile. This is really cool. I actually think this is like really cool. Uh, not too strong. The Ultra pretty much got destroyed. Um... Okay, go ahead and... Uh, Petra could die, which would be bad. So really, we should probably do a light heal. Uh, I feel kind of like taking a risk though. So let's do this. And Petra, you can just stay way back and cast Major Blessing. And hopefully she won't die. <laughs> Okay, literally cured more of their own dudes. Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, okay, this is... The actual soldiers and captains and like altars are not too tough. Uh, the mages though, definitely not to be messed with. Um, so Snizzle is almost dead. Petra is almost dead. Uh, other than that, we are mostly fine. But yeah, this could be going better. In fact, you should have a one to death, yeah. Go ahead and use that on this guy. Nice, got rid of the witch. Uh, that might be the first time that we've fought a witch, actually. I don't recall if we've um, seen a witch before. We probably have, and I'm just not remembering correctly. But yeah, so it is interesting that the Empire does like to keep tabs on exile at least that we are assuming this is a empire on who? base that is <laughs> here in exile to, to basically keep keep tabs on the pop on the populace so that is kind of the ideal on who did he cast that on spooky that's bad <laughs> Uh, 
That's a lot of damage. This is actually pretty hard. It's kind of funny, they, they lull you into a false sense of security. Uh, with just fighting easy grim gremlins, and then they hit you with these uh, these mages that just kind of destroy you. Uh, Snizzle is just kind of getting damaged, so you can move, move back. Uh, we've tried to haste pee people, but every time we do that, we just get slowed, so... I don't think it's worth doing a second time. Uh, what we should do is probably... You can move back, I, I would say. That would probably be a small thing to do. And uh, go ahead and do that. Petra, you really... You actually still have haste, which is good. Go ahead and cast protection. Um... I don't really know he would be the best person to cast on. Kodak has taken some hits, so... Go ahead and do, do that, and... If you can make it, go ahead and try to... Uh, let's do this, yeah. Okay, not too bad. Trying to kill the mage. Uh, we are out of wands. Let's uh, use, use this. Okay, nothing great. Uh, Autumn, you actually move, move, move up and go ahead and do a flame strike. Both of these guys have fire resistance, but we could cast a heal. Nope, oh, okay. They have uh, fire resistance and protection, so I don't think they should take too much damage. Cool. I think that was worth, that was a uh, worth it for sure. And Petra, you can go ahead and try to finish these guys off. You can probably kill this guy with flame. Yep, and go ahead and do an ice bolt on this guy. There we go. Okay, we got the high priest. And we got a bunch of gold that we would not be able to keep, unfortunately. We got an orb, and yeah, so that is this room. No, surprisingly hard. Like the Okay, we're not done. I usually speak too soon. Okay, that's bad. Do you have a Miss Glow by chance? No. Okay. Uh, that's okay though, because we have the awesome revive spell. So we pretty much just do this. And uh, he's pretty much back to perfect condition. Very nice. Okay, let's just defend in case uh, more guys come. Just like that. This is pretty much the optimal situ situation to be in. Uh, we probably need to console our mana, so let's just uh, defend with the mages. Cool. And let's just keep defending.
Yeah, I think that's it. And as soon as we press E, I'm sure more guys are gonna show up. <laughs> uh, maybe, may maybe not. I uh, need to check for secrets though, like that. Okay, this is interesting. There is a level in the wall here in the up position. I guess we are supposed to pull it. Although usually it's a good idea to know what you're doing uh, whenever you do stuff like that. <laughs> uh, usually good, good, good advice, you might say. Lots of secrets, okay. Oh, and we're back in the cave, okay. And this is a new location. Um, let's actually continue exploring this place uh, before we go there. All. Yeah, because these are just rooms, so... And probably not any secrets. Uh, no, okay. Really, really cool place. And uh, this was the secret entrance here. I wonder if they were like friends with the gremlins or if they paid them to like sort of act as decoys. I'm not sure if that's like a possibility or not. There's a lot of these. Okay, I don't think there's actually anything here. Um. I guess let's just keep exploring and not the portal. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it. So when we do this, we all add a new play. Oh, this was okay. That's why it was here. Very cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I don't think that we um, missed anything as far as I'm aware. But this was a really cool dun dungeon. I really liked uh, kind of like seeing that the Empire does actually have a presence here. Uh, which would probably scale a lot of folks because... The assumption is basically that, like, the Empire is not here, but apparently, uh, they are, so, <laughs> um, yeah. And it kind of makes sense, right? You don't want Exile becoming too powerful, because I would say it's probably safe to say that the Empire knows that uh, there is a sort of government that's been set up here. And this government, uh, in combination with the Tower of Magi, uh, they do have some pretty powerful pe people, some pretty powerful mages. Uh, they do have, like, an actual, you know, as we said, go government. So even though everyone down here was sent because uh, of... For some re re reason of like offending the empire, whether that be from rebellion or just not fitting in, uh, the empire is still cautious. You know that uh, even though you get sent down here, you could still rebel and try to overthrow them. So yeah, that's just re really neat.
I think. A very cool dungeon. Uh, we are still on- why- why is she in combat? What am I thinking? <laughs> I don't know what I was- I- I was not, uh, thinking straight. Okay, let's see if we can make it out of here without fighting any more, uh, gremlins. Obviously, that's not the case. I'm trying to speed you on this. <laughs> Again, finding enemies that don't have range attacks, that don't cast magic, is so much better um, than the usual stuff. Okay, can we? Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay. Even when we are fighting relatively tame enemies like this, I... Uh, I still complain, which is uh, not uh, not good. I should be uh, should be great, great, grateful that you're not being slowed and coursed and poisoned every uh, every combat turn. But that is really just the only thing that I don't really like about um, this game is the respawning enemies while you're literally still inside the dungeon. Uh, like, I, I'm, I'm fine with, like, if you come back and they respawn, like, I, I feel like that's fail because, uh, I don't know, it just, just makes sense, right? But, like, while you're inside the dungeon, like, I'm, I mean, uh, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let's go ahead, ahead and rest, and, um, yeah, I don't think there was a quest here of any kind, I, I think it was just kind of showing that the Empire does still keep tabs on the people that they uh, that that they exile, so really really cool. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.